morning. Welcome to our episode 8 of City Walk and Talk. And right now, I am here at our 4.3 kilometer walk with, again, with my sister, Dudai. Nandito na naman po kami. And we will have another day of Chica. So, random talks under the sun. So, welcome for being here and to all of you, recurrent listeners, regular listeners, first timers, welcome po. So, today is Sunday. So, before our Sunday routine, we add muna tayo ng exercise, physical activity, outdoor wellness. <laughs> Pwede ba yun? Outdoor wellness. <laughs> I think meron talagang ibang effect yung nature na hindi yan mawawala. Kahit, kahit sino ang tao, will always be drawn to nature. No matter what kind. Like iba, bukid, dagat, kahit trees, garden, kahit nga yung mga succulents and cactus lang. Uh, those are still some kind of nature. May mga taong bukid person or dagat person. Ano ka? Boat. Ako <laughs> din. Boat talaga, no? Oh. Yung ideal is nasa bukid, pero yung ba, yung ano mo, Either yung kapag baba mo. Dagat ka with a background of bukid. Oh. Or nasa bukid ka with a forest or a lake. Oh. Yung may, may tubig, body tubig. of water. May body of water. Yeah. Or so, in, yeah. in ano, there's this area in Cebu na cliff so, uh-huh. yung parang ang bukid. Yeah. And, pero pagbaba mo, dagat na. Uh-huh. 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 And, meron din iba na ayaw kasi sa init ng dagat. So, bukid. Merong ginawang infinity pool. And then, while you're in the infinity pool, yung nakikita mo is the dagat, like the ocean. So, para lang continuous. And I think it is still very, very relaxing. So since malayo tayo sa ganyan, imagine nga lang muna natin <laughs> vacation right in your, in your mind. <laughs> so it's good. At least we have the memory. Ngayon mahirap mag-vacation eh. Not everybody can go where we all want to go. Like yung mga noong unang panahon, pre-pandemic yung life natin pre-pandemic. And kahit pa matapos na ito, there will be some kind of, you know, hindi na katulad noon, na hindi na nag Go lang agad-agad. But the good thing also is, you will tend to appreciate more the little things. Yes. Yung mga yeah. little escapades. And maganda rin na we now know the value also of staying home Diba, na before you always want to go out na hindi mo so I think it's parang from the sa pandemic mm-hmm. it focuses us on what really uh, valuable in our life essential essential yes. mm-hmm. uh-huh. sobrang dami no so, yung na, nag iba talaga yung buhay yeah. and then the things that you've eliminated excesses excesses oh the things that you don't really need Oh, na you thought before na things you can can't live without. Mm. Pero nung nawala sila, actually, <laughs> you've adapted. Nag, lighten yung yeah. um, load mo. Aura mo, yung load, load. mo. Mm-hmm. So, you say you are focused now on what is really essential in your life. Oh. Ni rid of tayo sa unnecessary wants and needs. Oh. It was by force hindi natin yung choice. Actually, yung lalakad tayo, mm-hmm. na nakita ko yung mga empty buildings, kasi mm-hmm. we're in a city, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yung mga empty buildings, but nakita mo yung mga trees, yung nature, yung mga mm-hmm. gardens, they are the ones thriving. thriving. So, even on a global scale, yung mga na-shutdown, mm-hmm. mga nandun sa mga Para siyang breeder sa lahat-lahat. From individual level until global scale nga. Mm-hmm. Kasi lang nung start talaga ng pandemic, March mm-hmm. 2020, 
lahat ng airport shut down. Oo. Kasi we really don't need that much yung traveling. Travel. Mm-hmm. Lalo na pag leisure lang naman. Mm-hmm. Although it, it does a lot of good for yeah. us. Mm-hmm. Pero uh, on, on a scale of what is really essential, mm-hmm. hindi yung yung essential. Especially na aside from individual na impact for that person, yeah. yung greater impact din. Like, hindi lang tayo ang nabubuhay sa mundo. Like, mm-hmm. nature itself nagkaroon ng greater. Yung nakikita mo yan, na narang, it's a global feeling oh. for everyone. Sometimes, yung clouds, mm-hmm. if it's dark, really dark, mm-hmm. mas nagiging vivid yung linings. Oh. So, kasi it's contrasted against the cloud na really dark. Mm-hmm. So, parang in life, mm-hmm. sometimes, the the deeper you are in your sorrow, or yung parang mas madami kang problema mm-hmm. doon ka mas um, kailangan mong i-train yung self mo to look for the silver linings kasi by that time who knows yung silver lining mo sobrang vivid na sobrang mm-hmm. ganda mm-hmm. na hindi mo na ma- ma-disregard mo na yung dark cloud mm-hmm. kasi you will just focus on the very nice lining oh oh, oh. <laughs> alam mo bakit ako natawa when you when you said that kasi Uh-oh. two nights ago I was reading something, and it's, it's exactly that. Oh, really? How joy and sorrow are are uh, no, uh, inseparable. It's two sides of the same coin. Oh, oh. <laughs> grabe. So, yun talaga. So, yung hinabi mo yan, kahit pa hindi natin yan napag-usapan the last few days. Oh. But it's exactly that. So, every time pala that you feel sorrowful, na sobrang lungkot ka, sobrang nasasaktan ka, one thing that can actually make you feel good is the acknowledgement na yung sakit na nararamdaman mo is actually coming from a beautiful and joyful yeah. place because you will never feel bad if and wala pang oh, oh and vice versa so hindi ka rin mag so overjoyed lang hindi mo mas mabavalue mo ang joy actually ay po <laughs> mas mabavalue mo actually yung joy in your life also knowing na you can appreciate that happiness kasi galing ka sa isang darker side din. Yeah. Hmm. So parang if you're in a state of darkness or you're very sorrowful, you know na prior to that sorrow was a uh, joy, was a bliss na sobrang totoo, oh, oh. sobrang happy. And mm-hmm. ikaw din, you have to remind yourself na you, after you go through all this negative feelings, mm-hmm. may ano din dyan, alam mong mag mako convert yan yeah, to happiness yeah. din. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, again, with silver lining, so it's actually not losing hope and just having the confidence na alam mo, yung dark clouds, yung anything heavy, anything negative, anything sorrowful, is just passing. There will always be some light, some sunshine right after that. So, yung ang nakita ko in one of those sunset, na minsan hindi siya silver lining. It's a gold <laughs> lining. Golden lining. <laughs> Golden lining. Bongang bongga. Oh, oh. <laughs> and for those na, kasi I think ha, yung one of the most dreadful kind of sorrow mm-hmm. is losing someone. Like if meron namatay, meron tayong loved ones na nawala. Sobrang hirap nun. What can you say to that person oh, okay. na that can make them feel better? I think isa yun sa mga pinakamahirap. So again, minsan nga, dapat wala kang sabihin. You just acknowledge their sadness. Yung kung ano yung pinagdadaanan nila. But if they know na behind that sadness actually is coming from a memory of happiness, of joy, nung nakasama mo sila, yung lahat ng mga bagay na ginawa ninyo, all of those memories, pagod na si Dogi, oh. all of those memories in your life, alam mong they lived a life, and kayo naman, you've also enjoyed your time together, it won't be that sad, it won't be that that painful, yes, it is sad, pero hindi na siya ganun ka, uh, bigat kung baga. Oh, oh. And the fact that there are people grieving the loss of that person, mm-hmm. meaning these people uh, 
carried love na so big for that person, kaya sila nagigrimpe. Mm-hmm. And that love, kahit hindi ka pa expressive, mm-hmm. for sure, naramdaman nila yun. Naramdaman nila yun. Naramdaman nila yun. And, and the, the best way to move forward is for you to allow that person to live on through you. Parang kung mm-hmm. ano yung mga stories mm-hmm. in person na yun, mm-hmm. yung mga struggles niya. Mm-hmm. You can still continue to learn from that, mm-hmm. to, to live off and that uh, mga lessons na binigay sa iyo, mm-hmm. memories. And then yung ano nga, you have to think like how that person would want you to live your life even oh, after they pass. Di ba? Oh, for okay. sure, ayaw nilang magmukmuka. Ayaw nilang mag ano ka lang dyan. Mag mag lose ka lang, forever ka lang. Parang, Parang give up ko na yung buhay mo. mo. Oh. What would this person want me to do? Oh. Di ba? And for sure, they want you to do better. Yes. na you live your life. And, and, ha? May exemption dyan. Baka meron mga isang tao dyan na kapag nawala ako, huwag kang mag-ano. <laughs> Baka meron ganun. Then you also have to question the intention of that person. Okay? So, exemption lang naman yan. But generally, lahat is most likely they want you to still live your best life. Kalimutan. And you cherish, cherish their life, their memories by doing good. You honor the goodness that mm. that person brought to your life and mm. continue to bring to your life. Mm. And you can start by being healthy, eating right, having a good mindset. You always you always say your prayers and you always try to do good for yourself and for others. Okay? And yung concept ng silver lining, di ba sometimes we focus on the dark cloud so much na feeling natin wala na talagang light at end of the tunnel. Uh-oh. So, meron akong kwento about a certain experiment on rats. Okay. Merong tatlong rats na sinabberge sila sa water. Mm-hmm. Tiningnan nila kung kailan sila, hanggang kailan sila makakalangoy. After 15 minutes, the, all before 15 minutes, na ano na sila? They already drowned. Ay. Pero bago sila mamatay, kinuha sila kinuha sila and they pat them dry. Uh-oh. So, na-save sila. And then after, nilagay sila ulit sa water. And you know how long they lasted? 60 hours. Wow! Grabe no? <laughs> Grabe no? That kill you, make you stronger. Oh, and it's the concept of hope. It's the concept of hope. Oh, na ah. that they believe na pwede pa lang silang ma-save. Uh-oh. That they believe na hindi sila hindi sila mamamatay nga na merong pag-asa. Uh-oh. So if you don't have hope, you can just last for 15 minutes. But if you have hope to hang on to, Uh-oh. 15 minutes is ano lang siya, ilang percentage niya ng 60 hours. Oh, lahat ng stories of giving up is a story of losing hope. Oh, uh-huh. totoo lang. Uh-huh. Even sa ano sa so, uh, when you run, for example, may goal ka na 10 kilometers. Mm. Pag, pag, alam, pag may goal ka, min, si, minsan, mas magandang, um, mas magand, ako ha, kahit 10 km lang yung goal talaga, mm-hmm. ako, I set myself up to a higher goal. Mm. Like 11 or 12. <laughs> kasi, <laughs> <that> time, <laughs> ang, ang, ano mo, ang mindset mo, kasi doon ka sa mas mataas. Kasi it happens you minsan, will fall. Mm. na, mas naunang mag-give up mentally. Oh, oh. Pag that happens, kahit yung body mo, kaya-kaya pa, mm-hmm. hindi mo na kaya i-drag yung feet mo. Mm-hmm. So ganun, kasi nawalan ka na ng hope mm-hmm. because mentally, nawalan ka na ng, ng thinking na kaya mo pa. Mm-hmm. And that's also the concept of getting inspiration. Mm-hmm. Kasi if you don't know anyone, like for example, yung kilala mo lang talaga, yung pinakamatagal nilang natakbo is 5 kilometers lang hindi ka talaga makago beyond ng 5 kilometers kasi yun lang ang alam mong kaya. So, just like even in Olympics, yung mga fastest runners before, like say for example, naka-run sila ng ganitong distance in this number of hours, and then for the longest time, yun lang talaga, sobrang mahirap mag-break. But the moment merong makaka-break ng record beyond that, sunod-sunod na. Oh, it's It's forcing the human capacity oh, beyond kung ano mental lang oh, oh. na expand na din na expand, na expand. expand. yes oh. yes so yun yung ano natin yun yung goal natin actually is to spread as many 
goodness as many great na habits and way of thinking para ma-expand natin yung ating own ating own capacity not just physically kaya ang mga testimonials no, are very effective oh yeah. because it's from real people oh oh grabe talaga and then sa dami-dami ng tao sa mundo makaka-relate ka talaga to at least one and oh. sometimes yung mga relate mo is someone na very far from you hindi kayo related hindi kayo pareho ng culture, hindi kayo pareho ng edad, halos lahat. But you can relate to that person. And as long as when you relate to that person, you also trigger something inside you to improve, I think it's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. So, so beneficial experiences. Mm-hmm. So, grabe talaga nagagawa ng hope. So, you, that's why one of our earliest top- topics before is about belief. So that's the importance of believing on something. Mm-hmm. Hindi talaga, huwag magwawala ng pag-asa. Okay. Parang one last point on silver lining. Uh-oh. Kasi it's easy for us to disregard the lining. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, in proportion to the cloud, maliit talaga siya. <laughs> At saka siya yung mas malapit sa iyo. <laughs> so, so, don't feel bad din na uh, minsan na, na, you tend to focus lang dun sa dark dark cloud kasi nga, yun naman talaga ang biggest struggle mo at that very moment uh-huh. pero mm-hmm. yeah it also highlights na talagang effort din mm-hmm. maghanap ng glimmer of sunshine glimmer of hope mm-hmm. so yeah something na you should train on uh-huh. yeah, so na develop naman na develop naman yan di ba when Nade-develop you practice yan. that uh-huh. mindset ha ah, sunod-sunod na yan so we just need to remind ourselves because i know may mga tao talaga, we know a lot of people who are somewhat on the pessimistic side. And it also works for them. Kasi nga, na-anticipate nila yung mga negative na pangyayari. They were able to counter it, na-prepare nila. Pero minsan, if you are on that pessimistic na attitude, you're always <laughs> given challenges. Kasi parang yun. Yung, kaya namang mag, mag-solve ng problema. So, problema, problema, problema. Kasi nagiging training mo. Oo, oh, oh, <laughs> naghahanap ka ng marami. Ano ka, Blaze? Glass half full or glass half empty? Nakikita ko talaga silang dalawa. Yun, yun na naman yung problema ko. Yung mm-hmm. glass with water. Oo, oh, oh, yung so, ganon. So, realistic ka? Oo. Oh, oh, yung so, pessimistic, yung hindi ganon. Ganon. optimistic, ah, yung okay. realistic. Okay, salamat. Salamat <laughs> ha. Talaga na mako is like kung ano ba talaga and this is good to be a realist kasi ang sobrang optimistic naman may danger din oh. na parang mm, meron daw toxic naging, optimism yeah kasi mm. hindi ka naging nagiging relatable to other people mm. somehow mm. so if you're just a realist mm. makikita mo both sides of the coin <laughs> oo oh, oh. wag mo akong bibitin mag answer na full or half empty kasi alam ka talaga yung half lang siya <laughs> Yeah, so um, important it talaga yun. I think it's good for us to develop that positive mindset. And yun nga yung ating pinaka antidote don. When you think of something negative, kasi yung negative thoughts they just come spontaneously. Bigla bigla lang susulpot yan. And especially for those who are struggling, na all of a sudden talaga bigla lang yung parang merong dark clouds na. Following you around, no, following you around, and feeling you, making you feel down. So you just counter it with something, three other things that you that makes you feel good. Yung parang meron kang staple, three good things that you are thankful for. Na alam mo forever mo siyang pasal salamatan. And it could be very basic. Hindi siya kailangan expensive. Hindi siya kailangan magrequire ng kung ano ng setup. So the fact that you are living, the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are capable of thinking. Sobra sobra na yun that you have a life na binigay sa iyo that's already good Pero yung, if you're in that state wag din pilitin ang sarili agad-agad mm, uh, yes uh, give, uh, give it your thought uh, time give it mm. time basta yung sa kanila oo oh, oh. kasi hindi pwedeng i-disregard din yung mga negativities na yun because all those negativities also sometimes you really have to listen to them because it's telling you Yeah. You just have to process warning. it. Oh, you just have to process it the right way. Yeah. Para alam mo. Kasi oo, oh, oh, totoo yun. Yung baka warning pala siya. 
for you to prepare yourself para hindi ka malagay sa danger or kung ano mga more serious na situation. And ano ko naisip kanina about ano eh, about sorrow, more on sorrow and on hope. Kaya lang nakalimutan ko na yun talaga yung atin, no? Kapag ano, that you know that happens to us na kapag yung isa sa atin, biglang may inisip na iba, na nawawala rin yung ano, yung line of thought ng isa. Oo, oh, oh, oh. si maming ganun kapag nag-uusap kami sa phone, tapos meron akong sasabihin, tapos biglang nawala. Tapos sabi mo, may inisip ng iba, no? Tapos yung tatawa-tawa lang yan. <laughs> Kasi ano, meron siyang, meron siyang nakita or whatever, nakakat off. I think it's, it has also something to do with our individual connection. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Junior. Hey, and Opal, Beth, at marami pang iba. Thank you so much. Naputol yung kanina. And then, good thing, nung nag-live tayo ulit in our second room, nandun pa rin sila. Hanggang saan kaya nung narinig nila kanina? I'm not sure kung ano doon. Ah, dyan si Kuya Olidan. Maraming salamat po. Dear Rochelle, ay nandiyan din. Good morning. Nasa 5.8 km na tayo. Wow. Parang wala lang, no? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> And second day mo palang mag-walk ngayon again after a long time? After Ma- more than a year. More than a year. And then sumakit ba yung katawan mo? Hindi. Wala, no? Walang kahit anong struggle sa'yo. Your muscles are all very developed. Mm-hmm. Na chain ng mabuti. Na chain ng mabuti. Bago pa maging mami. And I think si Arky is also enough weight for you <laughs> to carry the whole day. Yeah, try na pa-continue sa ang nang training <laughs> na hindi ako nag-sign up for. <laughs> Bago ka naging ano, uh, nawala yung pagka-runner mo at naging weightlifter ka naman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at marami pang iba. At marami pang iba. <laughs> Hi. So, yeah, those are the gist of today's morning walk. So, ta-da. always never lose hope. And if you have to really prepare for the dark clouds, so you just prepare. Kung ulan man, so you do what's necessary. Kung meron kang kailangan i-prepare for you not to get wet in the rain, gawin mo yun. But just know that it's going to be in passing. Naalala ko na kung yung gusto kong sabihin. Ay, salamat. <laughs> May makakosensya ka, oh, hindi ko maalala. Kasi alam mong ko. ikaw, <laughs> ikaw <laughs> nag-chain, oh, nag-break na yung chain of thought. So yung, ang, yung, ano, the one that I'm supposed to say is, when you feel bad, when you feel negative, mostly it's just fleeting na emotion. It's just fleeting mood. Ano lang yan? Hindi siya long lasting. That is only during that point. Na disappoint ka lang ng ganyan. So try not to decide, especially big things in your life, sa mga panahon na you feel bad. Ayaw. Hmm. Because that's ju- that kind of judgment is very clouded. Wala ka sa tamang pag-iisip talaga. And it's very dark clouded. <laughs> oh, hindi lang siya clouded. Dark clouded pa. So try to sit back muna. Breathe deeply and pray. Pag-isipan muna ng maigi before you decide. I th- and, and that thing is also a reminder for me. Because you know how impulsive I am. Or actually tayo, no? Everyone in the family. Everyone in the family is very impulsive talaga. And yun nga, although <laughs> konti lang sa mga decisions that we've made na we really regret. Kasi We always justify. Ang so, maganda <laughs> sa atin, na pag-usapan namin sa last time, parang in hindsight, kasi hindsight naman talaga oh. is 2020. Oh. Mali doon. <laughs> Pero in hindsight, isipin natin, yung mga mali natin, hindi natin siya na... Naulit? Hindi, hindi natin ano? siya na, na label talaga as mali. Oh. 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 Kasi nakaka-pivot agad tayo. Yung parang, ah. mag-change, oh, mali na nga. The moment na na-realize mong mali, oh. parang we, we pivot, we, we change direction. Oh. Oh. We, to we compensate. Change, to... Oh, change strategy. Oh. Kasi nga, very ano tayo. Um, na-train na tayo dun sa always looking oh. for the silver lining. Yeah, yeah. So, pagdating mo dito, 
na state because of a uh, wrong na nagawa mo, mm-hmm. mabilis na ka na naman maghanap ng silver mm-hmm. lining. Mm-hmm. So, isipin mo, ah, hindi naman pala mali. Nag-change direction lang. Ah, it's because <laughs> kahit pa impulsive tayo na na neutralize ng pagiging proactive natin. Yeah, oo. Na. And the ability to adapt agad. Ay, salamat oo, naman. Oo. Yun yung naisip ko, no? Kaya, kasi... Ngayon, I married to someone na overthinker. Oo, oh, oh, at grabe ka so, na doon, planado, pulido, lahat. pulido lahat. So, Hindi pwedeng go-go-go. Ako, kasi ako, I tend to decide <laughs> based, based on, on my intention. heart. Oh, based on intention. your heart. <laughs> at yun, pinaprobe niya ako. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. I will go for it. Pero bakit? Pero pinapakamap niya ako with specific um, reason. reasons. Oh, Hirapan ako. Tangible, tangible reason. <laughs> Hindi yung based on feelings lang. Oo, oh, tapos doon ko na-realize na actually, may confidence ako to decide based on intuition. Mm-hmm. Kasi alam ko na no matter the consequence of this, mm-hmm. kaya ko naman. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Ganun. Uh, hindi mo lang sinasabi pa man, but you know, if based on your intuition, 80% of the time, it's gonna do well. And if ever, 20% <laughs> na hindi siya mag do well, I know I can always do another turn it around. Turn, so. turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's good. Pero, in fairness naman sa iba na hindi pa siguro ganun ka na train on being proactive and being resilient and being sobrang maparaan. Oo. So I think it's just a good reminder to be cautious a little. Like ako, even if, yun nga, yun, thank you for explaining that. Pero I think I will now try to be more cautious then na when I feel bad, I should, really shouldn't decide on big things then. Pero, same goes when you're happy. Ha? Same thing. Same thing goes when you're happy. Ang dami rin. So, dapat neutral lang talaga. Kasi Uh-oh. when you're too happy daw, most likely, pagsisisihan mo din yan, you're yeah, bound to commit on something that that really, hindi talaga dapat. Oo. You're a yes man daw pag happy ka. Uh-oh. So, both ways. Both ways. Uh-oh. Anything extreme talaga. Again, that's always um, maintain yung critical thinking. Critical thinking. Uh, yan yung gusto always. ni Kuya Oli. Pero, ano, healthy dose of skepticism. Yes. <laughs> May ganun. Well, keeping the positive attitude and keeping the faith, pero you always have a healthy dose of skepticism. Para, hindi na, para balance pa rin. We limit the risk, yet maximize the benefits. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. So, yun. Yun yung buti na lang naalala ko. <laughs> and last thing, kasi na, yung kahapon, before we end, for our Valentine series. <laughs> Bakit daw yung mga babae, parang, when it comes to Valentine's, parang yung babae lang yung dapat, parang given, oh, entitled na yung mga babae? Oo. Oh, oh. Parang it's embedded na sa culture na during yeah. Valentine's, si girl lang yung may karapatang mag-expect. Ng Mag-expect. At wala pa rin, sitting pretty lang siya at hihintayin ko kung ano ang ibibigay And sa akin. And the moment, hindi ka mag-deliver. Wala na. You're the worst person in the Bakit world. Kaya, ano? <laughs> Pero it's because of business nga. Pero, I think for those who are listening to us, I think you can help even a little change that bias na mindset by actually acknowledging na hindi talaga yan required. Na alam natin, like for me, what helped me is to really acknowledge na Valentine's is just for business. Oh, And okay. if you are expecting so much, try to think, bakit ka nag-expect so much? Is it your only proof na mahal ka ng taong mahal mo? Or is it for your own self na security? Yung sense of security mo. Kasi na baka, nasi-threaten because na, sa iba. Makikita mo lalo na sa social media. Yun, yun. Yeah. Kasi social beings tayo, mm. we tend to compare ourselves oh, with oh. others. At makikita mo kung gusto mo para meron kang ipost, na meron kang nabigay sa'yo na ganito. And there is nothing wrong with that. It's okay. Especially, nung pinost mo yan, it's to actually give also inspiration to others. They will also feel loved. And to your loved one na nagbigay sa'yo, that you really value kung ano yung binigay nila. But if ever wala, especially for girls, try to know why. And if ever gusto mo talaga, huwag ka na lang mag, huwag kang mag mukmuk and 
like wala kang gagawin try to say bigyan mo ko ng ganito so yun na lang kung gusto mo talaga kasi yung mga lalaki yung struggle din nila minsan hindi nila alam kung ano gagawin oo so, yung sort of the same mindset ng boys oh, and girls and ang nakakalungkot doon they just do it because alam nila na yun yung parang norm but they actually don't feel na for like from the heart talaga naggagawin niya to or that it's just part of the routine na lang but when you really love someone like yung ating love language kahapon, di ba? Sabi ko, I'm not, ang least is more on gifts. Mm-hmm. Pero, it just comes to me spontaneously. Like sa atin, di ba? When we travel, kapag may nakita tayong that reminds us of this someone, di ba binibili natin din? Oh, oh. oh like it's also no issue. So, when you really love someone, spontaneous yun, natural yun. Naralabas yun tayo to give them, to provide them with presents that you know, will make them happy. And, alam mo, na nung pinili mo yan, it's because you really thought about them. So, I guess, this Valentine, aside from knowing kung ano yung mga love language that your partner appreciates, hindi lang yung ikilalanin mo lang, no? So, since alam mo na, you can also send love the way your partner also wants to receive love. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yan na. <laughs> yung reminder sa'yo kahapon. <laughs> and one thing that you can do is to maybe for girls, try make a change. Ikaw naman yung magregalo. <laughs> or serve. Or, or serve. Or serve. Oh, or serve because maybe your partner partner's language of love is service. So, try to do something special for yourself. Anyway, we are just talking about Valentine's because it's February, but hindi talaga tayo nagpapa-enslave sa concept ng ganyan. It's just an excuse for us to talk about love and <laughs> everything else. But yun lang. And today's hope, silver linings, and the concept of not giving up and always believing and also making better decisions when you are in a more stable emotion reliable reliable <laughs> hindi lang basta-basta magpapadala sa emotion although I'm, i'm not sure if it's just the impulsive side of me making an excuse na minsan talaga meron talaga mga decisions na kailangan siya ng mga ganung push or push Maganda hmm. yung incentive. Minsan, di ba? Oo, oh, kasi minsan debilitating din yung pagiging over-thinker. Parang it, it is, ano, hindi ka na nakaka-make ng decision. Oo. <laughs> Ay, actually, meron akong ganyang mga, ano talaga, conversations mga hmm. few months ago na I feel like I'm wasting so much time na waiting for this, waiting for that, to make a decision Oo. na if nag-make na sana ako ng decision like before, sana may result na and if it's not good nakamake na ako ng another way to counter it yeah. yung sabi oh, mo oh, yung sabi ko oh, oh, yun pala yun that's why I, may mga times talaga na I can become very impatient and I think it will have something to do with you knowing yourself really well para alam mo when it is time to wait when it is time to really act on something there are times talaga na just deciding is the best decision you can make. Yeah, oh. yun. <laughs> And I think we've, we've talked about that a few days ago. Mm. Na the fact that you don't decide, because a lot of people don't decide. Eh. Oh, oh. You are already deciding. And it's the worst kind of decision that you do. Because you're not owning what will happen. You're not proactive. You're not proactive. And then you are bound to do the blame game after. Yes. That's oh, true. So, no improvement. No accountability. No yeah. accountability. And it's only when we take accountability, when we learn, and when we improve. Because you own the mistake. You own the consequence. And kahit pa nagkaroon pa yun ng consequence na hindi natin ganun ka gusto. But there is this learning. So, the learning process is still equally important. At maganda yung my sense of control ka. Mm-hmm. Kasi, ang hirap, you, you tend to feel lost pag, parang pag wala kang control oh, what is happening in your life. 
Like, that's one way of getting control, exercising control. Diba? Yung making decisions. Mm-hmm. Kahit na, kahit na, ano, um, at, at a state ka pa ng feeling mo, hindi ka pa equipped to do the decision. Mm-hmm. Minsan, just deciding could go you a long way. Yeah. Sobra. And when it comes to control, in psychology actually, what makes a person like snap, mm-hmm. like magkaroon ng mental breakdown, yeah. is actually the lack of sense of control. Kasi hindi mo alam when things are happening, when things are not happening, yeah. Yeah. what's gonna happen next. So that sense of unpredictability, Uh-oh. that's what the what what makes a person like uh, in layman's term crazy. Uh-oh. Kasi hindi mo alam. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung mangyayari. And gabi mo, oh, parang oh, sobrang stress yan. Gabi yung detrimental pala, yung losing hope and losing control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it could happen at the same time to the same person. Mm-hmm. Kaya, di ba, <laughs> gabi yung effect. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung isa dyan is, ang concept niya when it comes to psych is ano eh, uh, when you feel like you are losing hope, no, and then you're also okay. not in control, that's the concept of learned helplessness. Oh. Yun yung pinaka nakakalungkot talaga. It's another experiment, another experiment na naman on dogs. Na yung isang dog, kapag nag, na, ano siya, para siyang na electrical shock, merong electric shock. So, masakit, painful. And then, yung isa, kapag pinipress niya yung button, nawawala. And then, so, na-okay na yon. And then, meron namang isang dog na pag pinipress niya yung button, minsan nawawala, minsan hindi. Uh, very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. And then, later on, he stopped pressing the button. And then he just lied in and allowed oh, himself electrocuted. Na meron lang shock na pain na ganun. Because he learned that whatever he do, walang, walang effect. Sobrang nakakalungkot. Sobrang pero tinigilan nila yung experiment na yun. Nalungkot ako sa mga experiment. Oo, oh, oh, nalungkot, nalungkot ako for the rats. Nalungkot ako for the dogs. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. So, but we can learn from that when that happens to human experience. Na when you are faced with a trial at meron, meron siyang negative consequence and then you try to do it tapos hindi siya effective tapos minsan effective siya tapos next time hindi na naman that's really a very stressful thing so what in the lang na ano ko siya na relate ko when in a relationship mm-hmm. it's really good for us also to be dependable mm, yeah to be reliant oh okay. kasi pag Alam nilang hindi ka naman ganun ka consistent with the help that you provide, with the care that you provide. Mm-hmm. Baka maging ano sila, makalearn sila ng yun. Oh, yung learned helplessness learned on the helplessness. relationship side. Totoo yun. Actually, isa yun sa mga, mga striking things na that made me remember that. Kasi when you're with someone na very unpredictable, at I know yun sa mga Pinoy na family, oh. na hindi mo alam kung kailan yung good mood niya. Kung kailan siya, kung ano kaya ang mood niya ngayon, yung hindi mo mabasa. And then forever ka na lang yung parang naka-tiptoeing, even in your own home. Kasi yung, yung family member mo mismo, especially yung mga head of the family pa, hindi mo mabasa kung anong timpla ng utak nila that time. That is really very, very stressful. So, I hope if you think kayo yun, oh, oh. try to be more predictable. <laughs> Self-reflection, ka. self-reflection kasi it talaga. could be oh, you, it's unpredictable. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yun yung ripple effect niya to your mm-hmm. home oh, na oh, could oh. extend to other, to the to outside the circle, your home. To oh. the circle of the people living so, your home. So maganda talaga for us to try, always try to better ourselves oh, kasi oh. ang effect niya, grabe. No, the ripple, yung ripple effect. effect. So oh. if we make ripple effect, it should be the, the positive kind of ripple. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. No? Parang hindi tayo matatapos, but tapusin na natin to. Oh. Kanina pa tayo sa sabing tapusin na natin to. So I think, okay na yan for the day. Maraming salamat everybody. Not sure kung ano ang mayayari bukas. Let's see kung ano na naman yung mapag-uusapan natin. But we are already very thankful. Thank God for the weekend. Nakasama natin yung aking pinakamamahal na Duday in my life. Mama, mama, mama. <laughs> I, I really 
hope I can still join tomorrow. Sana nga, sana nga. Na ulit. Oo oh, nga din, eh. hindi ko pa rin alam kung anong schedule ko bukas. But yun lang muna. Thank you, Edwin, Fatima, Gemini, Eleanor, Ling Ling, Junior, Opal, and Beth. And all of you who are here with us. If you think this talk can help someone you love, someone you care about, feel free to share them. Mamaya, we will join the two audio room sessions. We will post it in... YouTube para mapakinggan niyo ulit. You can do a replay and so we can reflect more on hope, silver linings, the importance of not separating sorrow and joy and having the right mindset and being the best person for yourself and for your loved ones. Maraming salamat everybody. Have a good day and enjoy the rest of the Sunday. Any last words for them? Enjoy Sunday. <laughs> and remember, it's Lord's Day also. Yes. <laughs> oh, kaya kailangan na kaming umuwi din. Kasi uh, uh, the will start at 10? Yeah. yeah. Maray layo pa yung nalaka rin namin. Yung service will start at 10. So, thank you everyone. Bye-bye.